second fire is a big, big kind of problematic in, in the historical way. The last fully fledged empire we saw was Britain. But there is a major difference in timing now. But if you look at the US, if you look at the rise of the US and the timing of the post -world, world war and time during the Cold War. During the Cold War, the US was not an empire in totality, it was, it was building up an empire. And with the decline of the Soviet Union, still what appeared was not an empire in the context of an empire or, or evolution of an empire the way we know what an empire is. So basically, as as far, as far as I see, I see the U.S. evolving as a empire virtually, not in the physical context of the empire we knew at Britain. For example, Britain had colonies, it, had, it, it kind of intervened in many countries, it set up its own administrations, it set up its own uh, set of mechanisms of governance. In that, in that context, U.S. is not similar to any of those empires that we know. But in U.S has kind of expanded as an empire in the kind of a post nation state context where US is expanding globally as an ideology. What is it to be an American? What is it to be American? What is to be the American ideology? And in that context, US is kind of merging with non-state entities such as corporates, such as individuals, for example, Apple, for example, GE, all these things make up the invisible or the virtual US empire. So the physical US empire that people argue about is mainly US superpower as a superpower in the military and economic context, where the US has intervened in countries, where the US has tried to do nation building. But the, from the last year, you see a major shift in the US foreign policy where the US has ceased to be intervening in countries for nation on behalf of nation building, which is a significant shift in the US foreign policy the last 20 to 30 years. But still, in there you can say the US is kind of going through a decline or a decline in the way it handled its other the, the handled global politics. But at the same time, I don't see a decline in its virtual empire which it's building up, which, which is kind of including ideology, including corporate identity, in, include in creating a visualized society where people feel more and more in kind of way westernized, a western hegemon through the American influence. Of course there is, there is strong resistance for this, coming from different perspectives, different ethnicities, different ideologies. So in that context I see this there is a decline in the physical aspect of US hegemony, but there is a spread of a virtual hegemony that we are still not seeing, and I think that is still not declining, that is actually ascending.